Why did the web developer go broke? Because he asked AI to build websites for him, making himself redundant. So in this video, I want to find out if without writing code, can AI build a website for me? And I'm not going to use any tricks. There's already hundreds of videos on how to use ChatGPT to write code, but I don't want to see any type of code at all, especially not generated from open AI. I'm going to pretend I'm a mouse and I can only point and click. Let me slow this down and let's begin. On average, the time to build a website usually takes between 150 to 500 hours. However, I only want to spend one day and once you take out eating and sleeping, I've got about four to eight hours of productivity in me. I'll use AI power to make this possible using 10web, today's sponsor. My goal is to create a landing page for a course and book I'm putting together on AI. After logging in, I selected to create a new website. I'm going to call it Teach Me AI. On the dashboard, there was an AI builder. I selected to generate with AI and pick my business type. I explained that it's a book about AI as well as a video course to use ChatGPT and OpenAI. So far, so good. This is actually kind of how you would normally explain a project to a marketing company or a web developer, but in this case, you're doing so to an AI. Next, I put in my three features, which is a ebook in PDF format, as well as a video guide, and finally, all the code and my templates that I've built to this date, such as my Discord integration, my open AI template and my chat GPT widget. Finally, I selected an informal tone and content and it's done. So far, this has only taken me 10 minutes, but I've got the layout for a website ready to go. On top of that, all the other pages have been made and linked together as well. This includes the home page, which I want to customize as well as the services page, which I kind of want to add a pricing table as well as three main options. And finally, the about us page and the contact page, which I kind of want to convert into an early sign up page. Not too bad. If I was doing this myself, I would definitely have some bugs and it would take me a lot longer to get to this point. What I want to do now is customize it without writing code and see what else AI has done in terms of generating this page. Then I'm going to publish it and share it out to social media, seeing how well it did. I opened up the homepage and while the text was useful, I wanted to write something a little bit more specific to the course I'm making. Then I jumped into the back end of the website, which I found is on WordPress. I installed a plugin called MailChimp so that I can collect some email addresses for people interested in purchasing this course. What I liked was that there were different sections made for me. I deleted some that I didn't like and customized other ones that I did, such as adding in, for example, my team here, which is myself as well as George who are writing this course and putting it together. Hopefully I can publish it in quite a few different places, such as on Gumroad, on Daily.dev, on Feedhive, and many more. These are some of my favorite websites to visit as well. To finish up, I put in some more statistics about what you actually get as part of the course, as well as some early previews and screenshots of it. And here's the end result. Teach me AI. And I'm going to let you in on a bit of a secret. And that is that having a website that's published and online is always better than one that you're trying to make perfect but never quite finish. And so I think in that regard, using AI to build a website and then custom it later on definitely has its benefits. Tenweb have done a pretty good job at implementing the AI assistant into both their website and even directly into WordPress, where you can use it to generate blog ideas, write paragraphs, and rephrase them as well. And if you want to actually check out the website, I'll add it in the link below. It is a real course I'm putting together and should be released in the next week or two. 